Hey guys, it has been a while since I've last uploaded here, and also since we've gotten anything really exciting from Miraculous, but over the last few months, I've been compiling all of the exciting news and updates we've been getting, and so today, we are going to be discussing upcoming specials, season 6 and 7, new chibi comics, behind the scene looks at deleted scenes from the Miraculous Ladybug movie, and the most exciting of all, confirmation of a second movie. Before we get into that, so I did just want to share that I now have a second YouTube channel that revolves around Avatar The Last Airbender, so if you're interested in checking it out, I'd really appreciate it. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. As of right now, we can expect to see a new special release later this year titled The End of Ladybug, and currently it has a release date for August 31st. It seems that this won't be the final title for this special, but for now, we can anticipate the episode to revolve around Ladybug's potential and temporary end. If you'd like to hear more about my thoughts and theories on this upcoming special, then check out my Instagram, which is the same as here. The My B Show, as over there, I and Angry and Aggress have just shared our our first episode of our new Miraculous World Theory series, where we discuss all things Miraculous related and in our first episode, go in depth about our theories on what may happen in this special. Considering how the series left off in the season 5 finale, I'm especially excited to see what this special will hold for Ladybug and how she'll manage to get herself out of any arising conflicts. So not only can we look forward to a new special this year, but also more to come in the near future, with two others being confirmed to be in the works. Which specials do you guys think these two could be, and which are you hoping for them to be? Personally, I'm most excited for the One Night Mission special, so I'm hoping we'll get an update on it within the next year or two. As for Season 6, we've yet to receive any other update on its release besides that it'll be coming out this fall, but we do now have word that Unreal Engine will will be creating the new assets and visuals for the upcoming season, plus Thomas revealed on Twitter that in season 6, we can expect to meet two more new characters with disabilities. Late last year, we got two new chibi episodes from Miraculous along with chibi playsets, and now we can even expect for two volumes of chibi comics to release throughout this year and next, with the first volume coming out later this year on October 15th, and the second volume coming out on January 28th in 2020. 25. And speaking about new merch, during London Toy Fair, a giant new Eiffel Tower playset was revealed, which is expected to release later this year, and this looks so cool. So before we get into all of our deleted scenes revealed from the first movie, let's talk about this second movie confirmation. For a while, there's been discussion around a second movie being confirmed. However, with how the first movie performed, many fans, including myself, were doubting this possibility. But on January 29th, Jeremy went to share a big two on his story in the same font we've seen the Miraculous movie logo appear in, and by the next day, he confirmed all of our guesses by giving us the green light on his story that the second movie is indeed still happening. I do wonder how long this will take though, because as we've seen with the first movie, this kind of a project takes years and years to make. But nonetheless, this gives us yet another new Miraculous project to look forward to, and I'm super excited for it. Starting off, with our first new deleted scene shared, we can see that this is where Adrian and Nino first bump into one another and introduce themselves to each other. What's special about this deleted scene is that not only does Adrian go to mention his dad briefly to Nino, showing him and the audience at this point something that weighs really heavy on him, but we even get to hear Adrian's bodyguard speak after telling Adrian he needs to go with him. Adrian's unsure thumbs up here and little run to catch up with his bodyguard was also also super adorable to see. Deleted scene number two involves Plague and Adrian when Plague's trying to explain to him the importance of working together with Ladybug by saying in an unsure way that two halves are stronger together and getting frustrated with Adrian by the end of it. Unrelated to the scene, but when I think back to the movie and how Plague was portrayed, he definitely comes across colder than in the series and he also had very little screen time compared to Tiki, which personally wasn't a big deal to me 
me, but did surprise me. Scene number three showcases Hawk Moth in his lair and also gives him a moment to talk to himself and Akuma about how it's time for some real villains. On to deleted scene number four, and in this scene we get to hear about Alia telling Marinette that Gabriel Agrest is Adrian's father, which surprises her. In scene five, we see Nuru warning Gabriel, who's already in rough shape, about the consequences to come if he continues down this dark path, which is when Gabriel for a moment goes to say, my son will never forgive me, showing just how different movie Gabriel is compared to series Gabriel, but ultimately movie Gabriel still has hope by the end of this scene. The next deleted scene is actually an Adrianette scene, and I'm so surprised they took this out of the movie. We get to see Adrian thanking Marinette for picking up his locket, which he then goes to reveal was the last thing his mother gave to him before she disappeared. I think that wording disappeared is really interesting considering how the movie left off on with us seeing Emily in the basement, but it not being fully confirmed whether Adrian was aware how or why she's no longer in his life. Maybe that's something they'll touch on in the second movie, we'll see. We also get to see this iconic interaction between Chloe and Marinette, and if you've been following along with the teases for the movie for years now, then you'll know that Jeremy had shared a photo of Chloe and Marinette together. If I'm not mistaken, it was actually our first look at what Chloe would look like in the movie, and this just makes me really wish that we could have gotten to see this in the movie, along with so many other scenes that I won't be discussing in this video, but hey, we've got movie 2 to look forward to, so I'm sure we'll have lots of great moments coming our way. And as for our last new deleted scenes from the movie, we can see Marinette returning home after crying and making her way upstairs as her parents worriedly watch from afar. It seems this next scene may have followed after the previous one where Marinette can be seen sitting on her balcony, and as she stares into the puddle in front of her, goes to see a reflection of Ladybug, who tells her that she's nothing without Ladybug, until Marinette makes the vision disappear and becomes distracted by the green sky taking over the once warm pink sky. This scene was not only visually captivating, but the silence and slow pace that it could have brought to the movie feels like a bit of a missed opportunity. Because one thing that I certainly felt when watching the movie was just how fast it was moving all throughout, not allowing for everything to settle the way it could have, and I think this scene could have helped with that. But as always, what do you guys think about all of the exciting miraculous projects coming our way? Be sure to let me know your thoughts and theories down below and subscribe so you never miss the tea on the show you love. And an extra special thanks to my Guardian channel members, Libby, William, Yazan, and Amandine for your support. And if you'd like to become a member here on my channel and receive benefits such as special emotes, shoutouts at the end of my videos, little Kwame badges next to your username, or early access to my videos, then you can check out the link in my bio and choose your tier. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.